Hello everyone, welcome back to Panda Times Day, hashtag I want love. After you watch this video, I would really appreciate a watch and a like on my I want love official video, I'm trying to get it to 10K by Valentine's Day. And when I'm making this video, y'all have already bumped it up by like 6,000 views, which is insane. So thank you so, so, so much. Let's really try to get it to 10,000. I would be super happy if you'd my best Valentine's Day ever. All right. I am not in my office. <laughs> if you didn't notice, I'm actually in my car. I just finished a gig at Sloan and Parker. At Sloan and Parker, that's a super, super fun wine bar I play at almost every Thursday. So if you ever want to come see me, come check me out there. Um, but I'm in my car. I'm gonna tell you a story about about Car Panda. This is one of my best panda stories. So get excited. Um, so <laughs> this story starts. I was on my way to the Texas Association of Fairs and Events um, Convention Showcase, which was in McAllen, Texas, which for those of you who don't know is like super, super South Texas. And so I was driving one car and my band was in another and we were headlining and we were supposed to get there super early for our sound check, like way before we had to be there for sound check because I'm a very responsible band leader. And so I'm on the road and all of a sudden my car just like, has a warning light come on it's like beep beep i've overheated and so i pull over and my car just like won't go like at all it's just stopped and my car well this is a new car my old car used to break all the time so i'm sitting there on the side of the road car's not working i call the band i'm like guys i'm stuck they come none of them know anything about cars they're useless men um <laughs> so we we eventually figured out it was wrong they filled it up with coolant got back on the road driving 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 then I'm driving and driving and driving and there's police everywhere. And I'm like, if I go one mile over, these guys are gonna pull me over. And I was being real careful just to like be under the speed limit to not make anyone pull me over. And then all of a sudden I see lights behind me and I was like, oh my gosh, I stopped paying attention for one second. I'm getting pulled over because I was speeding. And he comes to my window and says, Ma'am, I pulled you over because you're driving with an obstructed view. And I sat, and let me just show you, let me show you what he qualified as an obstructed view. So this car is a little bit different than my last one, but literally there's nothing on the dashboard. All that was up there was that little phone stand and this little panda hanging onto the phone stand. No, not like that, but you get the picture. So then he goes, the, the phone is fine. It's just, just the bear, just the bear. So. Internally, I was like, are you kidding me? You pulled me over because I have a teddy bear the size of my phone behind my phone on my dashboard. But externally, I was like, oh my gosh, officer, I'm so sorry, and threw it into my passenger seat. And he made me get out of the car. There were two of them. There were two of them who pulled me over, and they both made me get out of the car to write me a warning. Thank God they didn't ticket me for having a panda. And Eventually I got back on the road and I was still super early because I'm a respond picking up my panda. I because I'm a responsible musician and left with plenty of time and predicted something to happen. At this point my managers called them and like kind of giving them a rundown on what's going on. Then I'm driving, my car broke down twice more because of the overheating issue that I had to fix later. And then I finally get to the big stage where I'm going and it was a big show, so there's a whole crew and everything. And at this point, everyone knew that I had gotten pulled over for having a panda on my dashboard. And so I got there, they were all kind of giggling. They're like, hee hee hee, we heard about the, heard about the panda. So yeah, that's today's panda time story. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, oh one more thing. Um, so for my, uh, for Christmas, my bass player and his wife, they got me this, which is a panda phone stand, which kind of solves both my problems. I haven't named him yet because I already have a car panda, so I need a name for this guy. So if anybody has any ideas, please let me know. <laughs> All right. Um, please keep coming back for panda videos and please watch the I Want Love video. Bye, y'all. Have a great night. Cause I want love that runs right